Hello everybody, Cordon here with a quick video on the hot new craze that's sweeping obelisk mode for the past couple of months in the Discord community and community as a whole. And that mode is randomized heroes and people love to play it on Max Madness and I'm going to show you now how to do it. So what you're going to want to do is go to obelisk mode of course, start a new game here, and then you're also going to want to bring up your paper internet browser like so get that going there we go and you're going to google for a random number generator so right here i have a calculator.net slash random number generator there's probably a ton out there you can pick your favorite let's move that up to that way and uh i even make this better for the eyes there we go that's a bit better and what you're going to want to set it to is the numbers 1 through 16 and generate four numbers. Allow to bullets, nope, and no sorting, and integers. And then what this is going to do is give you your four heroes to put in the game. Let me fix that once more. Nope. There we go. And what we usually do is number the heroes 1 through 4 going from top left to top right, 5 through 8, 9 through... 12 and then 13 through 16. So let's go ahead and roll what heroes we get. Alright, we got 16, which is Nesglect. 9, which is Evelyn. 7, which would be Sylvie. And 11, which would be 9, 10, 11, Wilbur. And then we're going to have to try to make this team work. So probably Evelyn in the front. I want to put Sylvie in the back because of the uh, back attacks. I think she has higher physical resist. She has 29% piercing. Yeah. Yeah, she's be she's best in the back. She'd probably actually be best in the front. I'm actually thinking about doing that and putting Evelyn in the back. Yeah, actually, I think Sylvie's probably a better frontliner. It's going to be a hard one for sure since uh, lacking a bit of speed, but Sylvie can get some. And let's go ahead and start drafting this. All right. Probably gonna want. Let's get this uh, random number generator out here. There we go. Here we can see all our packs. Acrobatic strike is actually very good for frontlining. I'm terrible at this, by the way. So don't take my drafting for random heroes into that much account. I think I might pick up Rogue for the setup and stealth in case I need it to uh, evade some hits. It would be great if she had access to the Bard Pack so I could get Song of Celerity so everybody could be sped up. Alright. She got a really good ranged random pack there. Ah, oh, that's a good Vigilance. I'll take Explorer. I guess random pack and hope for something that's really good at surviving. Purple Adrenaline. Next time that's bad. Explorer that's not that bad. So we'll take the Purple Adrenaline. And since she's in the front line, we definitely want her to uh, be as survivable as possible. We're going to want to go with Neslek, who's going to be our only healer here. So, Blue Anthem of Hope is an amazing card. Does it count as a skill too? It does. We're definitely going to want to take that. Urging Ray is actually pretty amazing damage for only two. Oh, we're going to hit the random for reroll. And uh, probably a seer, maybe devotee for the panacea. A barrier is not that bad either. That's a very damaging temporal change, which is we need some nukes. So I'm gonna hold off on this one to see if we get good cards with Wilbur and Evelyn. Otherwise, prescription over temporal chains. Alright, 
That could be fun. That could also be fun. Real two books, so I can pretty much guarantee some good books there. Probably want Agromancer. Even though that Scroll of Intellect's very good. And then we definitely want the blue superconductor. And also going to build a little bit survivable here. Uh, do we want electric damage as well? Yeah, why not? I want sight stacks on Sylvie since we have. I think I need to go for survivability. Oh, definitely a decent meteor shower. That would be a pick. Pick Aeromancer. Reroll. Vesicle Barrage is pretty great. I think we get the Firestorm. And I'm not sure if uh, Enchanter is actually going to be that great for us since Evelyn's going to be. Get a lot. He's not going to be last, so Nez Electu is going to be last in the turn order. And giving Nez some more mana might not be the worst thing in the world. And then a second super. Actually, this is a tough choice between these two. I think I want some big AoE damage over the superconductor to start. I think I got super. Yeah, okay. Just making sure I got that on Wilbur. Alright, so speed. Fire stacks, bolt stacks, and HP. And then I think I got good enough damage that I would like to uh prescription. Oh, Seer is really good. I meant to make this a short video, but I'm doing a draft as well. All right, uh, let's, I'm terrible at this game. I'll just go with that. We definitely want HP, Insanity, Sight, and Speed. I might be overvaluing Speed too much since he's already probably going to go after almost everything in the game. I should probably take Heal done. Oh well, let's rip it. Leather Armor is pretty good for the front line. Let's take some speed on Wilbur. Powerful on you. And then Gold Chain on you. And then I'll probably do a run of this later. In a later video, this exact run. But I just want to show off how to quickly do a randomized run. For the Obelisk Madness 10 mode. That everybody on the Discord is having fun with. So, that'll be it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Brush your teeth. Do all that cool stuff. Also, do want to shout out Seal, whose uh, Twitch I'm going to put in the description below, as this was his idea, I believe, that started it, and then just a bunch of others on the Discord picked up and uh, started going with it. Alright, bye bye